And say we're going to draw a zero. Yeah, we're going to draw a zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. He's a ghost dog. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you got a marker and some paper and you're going to follow along with us. You ready to start? Yeah. Where's your marker? Ruff. <laughs> okay, first we're going to draw his eye. We're going to draw a circle right in the middle of our paper, about that big. You can draw it right, right about here. Yeah, good. It's an oval. It's an oval. <laughs> That's oval. okay. <laughs> now we're going to color in the circle with our marker. Now we can draw Zero's nose. We're going to draw a little circle right next to it. So we're going to go over here and we're going to draw a smaller circle. And this is for the little pumpkin on his nose. Oh, it's a little one. I like it. Okay, now from his nose, we're going to draw a short line that comes over and almost touches his eye. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to draw his other eye. We're going to draw a big upside down U. It goes up and back down. So we can start right here. Go up to the same height and then back down. Big upside down U. You did it. Okay, now let's color that in. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, now let's draw his mouth. We'll start right here underneath his nose, and we're going to draw a line that comes down and stops right underneath his eye. So we're going to stop right here. So you start right there and draw a curve that comes down to that point. Yeah, your little zero is going to be awesome. Okay, now let's draw the top of his head. So we'll come back over here. And we're going to draw a curve that goes over the top of his head. And we're going to stop right there so we can draw his ears. So we'll start there, draw a curve that comes over and stops right about there. Yes, you did it. Okay, now we're going to draw his first ear. So we're going to draw a wavy line. It's going to curve one way and back the other way and then maybe even back that way. See how it waves? Do a wavy line. Start there, draw a wavy line up to there. <laughs> Ooh, super wavy. And then we're going to come back the other way. Looks like a flame. It does. It kind of looks like fire. Super wavy. I like it. Now we're going to draw one more back here so he has two ears. So we can, yep, right there. And then draw a wavy line that comes up. That's a good spot. And then we're going to come back down. Now let's draw the back of his head. We're going to imagine this line up here, the top of his head, going behind his ear, and it's going to curve around like that. Is that cool? Yeah. So we'll start right here, curve down to about there. Big head, I like it. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw his mouth. So we're going to draw a line that comes out like this, and then back in. So start right here, come out, and then back in. And then let's color that shape in. Good. Now we can draw his little cheek. We'll draw a little line on his cheek. <laughs> okay, now let's finish his mouth. We're going to draw a little line that comes out, and then back in, and then it connects to the back of his head. So, yeah, go out, and then around. Good. <laughs> He's got a big chin and I like it. It's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun because we're practicing. <laughs> Should we keep going? <laughs> now let's draw his collar that's around his neck. We'll start right here and we're going to draw a U. Goes around and then connects. So start right here. Draw one that comes over here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now we can draw the rest of his body, and this is what really looks like a ghost. Okay, so we're going to draw an A line that comes up and then back down. So we start right here, go up, and then back down. Looks like the letter A, or an upside down V. And then back down. Okay, now we're going to start over here, and we're going to draw a big curve that goes up. So we start right here and curve up.
Yeah, all the way. You did it. Okay, now we're gonna connect this line all the way over to this line with a wavy line. So watch this. You go up, down, back up, and then connect back in. So start here. We're gonna do a wavy line up to there. Whoa. It's like a roller coaster. Keep going. Super wavy. <laughs> nice job, dude. Give me five. All right, now let's finish the other side of his body. We're gonna draw a line that comes down and then back in. So go around that line. Go down and in. Yeah, down, go past the line. Keep going, keep going. And then in. You did it, good job, man. Okay, now up here we're gonna add three lines. One, a little bit longer, and then a short line. These are the wrinkles. Yes. All right, we did it, dude. We finished drawing zero. Did you have fun? Yeah. All right, we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, we need to color them. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. We finished coloring zero and he turned out awesome. There wasn't much coloring, was there? Yeah. We just used orange for his nose and red for his color. I also used gray for the shading on his body to make him look more 3D, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. Now, if you want to, also you could add a little face to his nose because he had a pumpkin on there. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing zero. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. You said goodbye again. <laughs> if you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.